got one. Jeez. Didn't even hit the bottom yet. All right, guys, welcome back to another episode. Uh, today, we're fishing from shore. Um, and today, we're fishing for some nice catfish here. Um, I got one rod out right now, just while I'm doing the intro, just so I can get a line out. Uh, but today, we're using some dead bait. And um, I caught this uh, bait a little while ago. Um, and yeah, uh, real quick before we get into this video, I'm gonna go over what I'm using in my setup. And yeah, so I'll set you guys down real quick, and I'll go over that. All right guys, so my setup today, I got two bait casters here. Uh, just some old bras and reels that I had. Um, and basically, this is one of them. Basically what I got on here is 40 pound Bray mainline. Um, I don't have a leader just because this line is pretty uh, stained, which matches the color of this water, so I don't really think I need leader too much. The other rod I do have, um, 20 pound fluorocarbon leader, about like three feet or so. Um, and then what I have on today is a nice little uh, five aught circle hook here, and then a slip swivel, uh, and then a nice little uh, three ounce weight. So yeah, pretty simple, uh, pretty easy. And then for the bait of choice today, some catfish candy, river shad. I caught these a little while ago. Um, so yeah. Okay, he picked it up and dropped it. So, huh. I don't know if you guys could hear that or see that. My rod just went flying. Um, I think the weight fell off, unfortunately, but yeah. All right, so back to what I was saying, though. Basically, what I'm gonna do here is just cut a nice little piece of this river shed here. Just a nice little chunk. Like so. Then, and with these circle hooks, when you get a fish on, you don't got a really hook set, you just got a reel, and then basically do a nice little hug. And then what I'm gonna do, feed that through, make sure you don't have any scales. Just gotta nail up again. Come on. Make sure you don't have any scales on your hook. Yeah, come on. Got one. Ha <laughs> ha! Broke one of the day. All right, first catfish of the day. Just a small little bullhead. But uh, yeah, first fish of the day, doing the intro. Cool, we'll let him go here. Back to what I was saying before I was really interrupted for the second time now. But yeah, that's basically it. Just a nice hook and piece of Shad. Once again, make sure you don't have any uh, scales on the tip of that hook just because, I don't know, kind of affects the hook set. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's get into fishing. I already caught one, catch some more, and yeah, let's get right to it. All right, so, got my nice bait on here. This setup, actually, I do not have a weight on it. I'm just going weightless, uh, but the current is a little strong here, so we're going to see how that plays out. But, nice little toss out. Basically, just let your line out, let it go to the bottom, and then that's it. Just let it sit there, and hopefully we'll get another one. Hooked up onto another catfish. That's a better one. That's a good one, dude. Wow, that's a good one. Stay down, stay down. Wow, that's a good one. Huge head on this guy. I didn't get the initial hook set, but he was running with it. And I turned my GoPro on and I got him. Wow, that's a big head. Holy smokes. Look at that sucker. That guy's big. Wow. Look at his stinking head. <laughs> cool. All right, guys, second fish of the day, a big one. Look at the size of his head. It's a monster. Ah, calm down. All right, gonna get the circle hook out of its mouth here. There we go. Pop that right out. And I mean, look at that belly. <laughs> Ow. Cool. 
cool, cool. Now that is awesome fish. All right, let's go nice little release on him. This guy is all charged up here. Come on, buddy. There you go. That was a good one. Whew, he ate my finger up good. Jeez. It was drifting down, and as it was drifting down, he hit it. That was like a better one, too. A lot of head shakes. That definitely feels like a better catfish. Don't get him out of the line. Wow, that's a big one. That's a big one. That could be bigger than the other one. Jeez. That's a big one. That's a big boy, dude. Holy cow. Big bullhead. Look at that sucker. Jeez. I'd say he's pretty close to the same size as the other one. Holy cow. Look at that guy. Hook right in the corner of his mouth. Just like I was supposed to. Popped right out. All right, another big one. Huge head, huge belly on him. Look at that guy. He stinks pretty bad though. But, third fish of the day. It's another awesome catfish. Look at them whiskers. <laughs> cool. All right, we're gonna let him go here. There he goes. Yep. Go back out there, buddy. There you go. All right, guys. So once again, I'm going to show you real quick what I'm doing. Uh, just super easy, you know. I'm actually going weightless now. Honestly, scratch the weights. Weightless has been working pretty good. So I'm going to bait on the hook there, right? Take it. This is this bar here has current, but it's super deep with a whole bunch of big rocks, um, and basically gets shallower, closer to the bank. So basically, what I do is on this huge line. Uh, basically on the edge of this huge drop off. Basically what I'm doing is I'm casting up current and then as I do that, I let line out and it just drifts down the current and then eventually hits the bottom. Um, basically starts over here and it basically ends up about right here in this area. And right here I've been catching them quite a bit, so. Basically just keep letting it drift, let line out. Basically what I'm doing is I'm every five minutes I'm reeling it in, checking if I have bait still, and then also making sure I'm not snagged. There's quite a bit of snags all through here, so it's easy to get snagged and you don't even know it, so. But yeah, hopefully we catch some more. We've caught in three today. Two pretty good sized ones, one small one at the beginning, but those two, the second and third one, huge heads. Um, I believe they are bullheads, I think. I think there's oversized bullheads, to be honest. Um, but I'm not 100% sure. So if you do know uh, the correct name for these catfish, or if they are indeed bullheads, uh, leave a comment down below, um, and I'd be highly appreciated. Oh yeah, I'm getting bit. Come back. Come on. Oh, he popped off. Took the bait with them. Damn it. That bait, wow, I don't know how they did. That bait was on there pretty decently too. I don't know how it got that off. Oh, I got one. Got one. Jeez. Didn't even hit the bottom yet. I was literally just about to put my, I was literally putting my rod down. He's not bad. So where I was originally catching them was closer to shore, but now that the water's gone down about like three feet, um, just in like about like 45 minutes, these fish have been gradually just moving outwards. So what I've been doing is casting out farther into the current and letting it drift down more out into the deeper spots. And that's where I just lost one. And then literally not even 30 seconds later, this guy came back and hit it, so. 
He doesn't feel too bad either. He's fighting pretty hard. Hey, he's not bad. Cool. Let's go down and greet him. And get him off the hook. Eh. Not as big as a couple of the other ones, but he's definitely not too small. All right, fifth one of the day. That guy's pretty fat. Not huge, but another just decent fish. Go. Yep, other way. Yep, keep going. <laughs> they are so, like, clueless, you know. There's, I mean, they're catfish. And obviously, you know, they use their whiskers and to sense where they are in the bottom and all that. But, cool. All right, so now basically, like I said, what I'm doing is I used to cast kind of closer in and let it drift out closer to the shoreline. That was when the water was a lot higher. So now what I'm doing is basically just casting out farther than I originally was and letting it do the same thing, just drift down. And basically, you know, what that does is instead of it, you know, drifting down closer to shore, it drifts out down more out in the middle. So, yeah. Let her drift on down and see if we can get another one. They seem to be hitting it like literally not even a minute of it sitting there. As soon as it hits this certain spot, they just hit it. So, yeah. All right, guys, so that is gonna conclude today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Um, I caught five or six fish today. Um, not the best day of fishing ever, but hey, five or six fish, it's not bad. Some of them I didn't get on camera uh, just because they were either too small or I just didn't have time to record uh, because my rod going in the water. Um, but yeah, I found out today that I like the weightless rig. Uh, I did at the beginning say that I'm using a uh, slip swivel and a weight uh, they ended up just getting snagged um, and, or falling off even. Um, so, I mean, sure, it gets you in a direct spot that you want to be. Uh, if you like, pinpoint a spot you want to be, you can just toss it and it'll be right there. Uh, weightless is kind of more of an area you want to be going. Um, but I do like the weightless more. Um, and uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, please like and subscribe if you have not already uh, to this channel. It's highly appreciated. And um, leave a comment down below if they are indeed bullheads or if they are a different species of catfish. I believe they're bullheads, um, just huge bullheads, but you know, I could be wrong, obviously. Um, but yeah, hope you guys did enjoy, uh, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.